Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Python playlist. In this playlist, we are actually uh, we are currently on the linked list data structure, which is the section 3.3 where we are going to discuss traversal in a linked list, right? So basically traversal is just from moving from one node to the till the last node of the linked list. And we are doing so for different things. For example, let's say we want to search some element and after searching, let's say we want to delete that element or let's say at that position, we want to uh, insert some other element, right? So we will need traversal. So basically, let's suppose I have a link list here, which is five, six, seven, which has three nodes. We know that the last node is always pointing to the null value or the null reference and these nodes are pointing something like this and as usual the head pointer is pointing to this node the first node of our link list so we are actually going to use traversal by using this head node which is or we can say the head reference and the idea is that when we are traversing in this link list we can actually access all the elements inside of this link list so basically traversal goes like this and the last node is obviously pointing to the null node so the idea is to uh, access or try to reach each and every element of the link list and basically since the last node is pointing to the null value we can use it to actually know that we have reached at the end of the link list and we can actually stop the traversal right so let's see how we can actually do traversal in link list which is uh, we will try to access each and el every element and we will display the content of the node after each access so while traversing we are going to display the uh, data inside of the node right so how can we do this in python right or in any other pro programming language basically this is the data structures in python programming so we will be writing the code for in the python programming but the strategy will remain same in irrespective of what uh, programming language we are using right so what we will do is we will use the head pointer because it is pointing to the first node we will use it and we will keep updating this head pointer until and unless the value of the head pointer is pointing to null right so we know that the head pointer is always pointing to the first node so we do not want to uh, mess up with the head pointer we do not want to uh, change the reference of the head pointer so what we will do is we will create some temporary reference which will be a variable and we will assign it as head pointer and then we can do is we can update this value of temp by reaching each and every element so the head pointer will not get changed right so the first step is assign a temporary pointer which is pointing to the head pointer remember one thing head is pointing to the first node here so when we will write temp equals to head temp is also pointing to the first node now now what we will do is we will run a while loop inside of this while loop uh, we can see that we will run this while loop until and unless the value of temp reaches null right so we will keep updating this value of temp from one element to the another and when it will point to this null value we can stop the while loop we can exit from this while loop right so how to update this temporary reference let's see that now we know that each node has a data item and a reference ref which is here right so what we will do is we will keep updating at each step we will keep updating this temporary pointer so now you can see at the first iteration temporary pointer is pointing to the first node i will assign it to the temp dot ref ref 
And what happens when we do this updation is you can see that this first node has a reference pointer which is which will point to the next node inside of the link list. So if I will write temp equals to temp.ref, temp will be will get updated to this reference, which is temp.reference will give me six, right? Because temp is now pointing to this node. So now the temp will be updated here. So temp will go here and again the while condition is checked. Now we can see that it is not null. So again we will update the value of temp. As now you can see temp is now pointing here. So temp.ref will give me the next pointer which is the next node 7 and we will update this temporary pointer to point to the last node which is the 7th node. And again temp.ref is it will now give me null and again I will update it. So the temp will be equal to null when we are we have reached the end of the link list. And since this condition will go here and when we will check it, the while loop will stop. Right? So let's see how we can write this implementation in Python. I will open the Jupyter notebook here. Now you can see here. We have created the new link list in the previous tutorial. We have inserted uh, three elements, five, four, and three, and we have inserted them at the starting of the link list. Now we are going to perform step number five. In the step number five, we are going to call the traverse function by using the link list. We have the new link list as the instance where we have all these three elements, right? So you can see new link list dot insert at start. So this new LL object has these three nodes. Now let's traverse it. For that, I have created a traverse function. And here you can see in the class link list, which is here, which we have done in step two. I have created a function, which is the traverse function here. You can see that we are passing the parameter self here because it will point to the it will give us the reference of the object, which is the new LL, which is the which is the link list we have created, right? So in this function, you can see this is the code that I have written. First, let's take, take a look at this condition here. This says that if the head pointer is pointing to the null position, so if self dot head is none, we are going to print that the link list is empty and we are going to return from this function, right? Else, if it is not true, if head is not pointing to null, it means that there are some items inside of our link list. The first step is to assign temp as the head pointer. You can see we have done temp equals to self.head. We have written the while loop that while temp is not pointing to the null position or while temp is not none, we are going to print the value, right? Where, or I can write that we are actually going to display the value here. So we will print the temporary pointer dot item, which is the data of the uh, node where, where the temp is pointing to, right? We will leave a space here. And in the next line, you can see from the indentation or you can see from the spacing that these two lines are belonging to this while loop. So within this while loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassign or update the value of the temporary reference to point to the temp dot reference, which is basically pointing to the to the next node, right? So that's how we can do traversal and if we want to perform uh, searching, we can do it inside of this while loop. We can access each and every element here. In the next tutorial, we will see how to delete the elements from the link list. If you will run this program, you can see here, we are actually displaying in the output three, four, five. So first, the five is inserted inside the link list. Then at the starting of the link list, four is inserted and then three. Right. So this is the, these are the contents of the link list. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.